Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have two new SBCs to review today. The first one we're going to be taking a look at is going to be the new Team of the Season Top Soba card. So if you guys remember, he had a really sick Future Stars card that I never checked out. So this Team of the Season, this is going to be the first time I'm actually going to check out this card. So I have no idea what his base characteristics are, but... He does look very good. So he's a six foot four player, medium high work rates, right footed, two star skills with a three star weak foot. In regards to his in game player traits, he has the power header trait, which is cool to work with. Uh, attributes he's got 85 acceleration, 92 sprint speed, which is perfect for the shadow chemistry style to boost it up to a 95 99. Uh, base card stats for sure, he's at a 93 for shot power, which is helpful. You know, once he's inside the 18 yard box from the corner kicks, maybe the ball drops to him, uh, he has a shot power to potentially score those opportunities. Opportunities. Uh, he's got great passing stats for a center back as well with 99 short passing, 99 long passing. It's good passing in general, obviously. Uh, base card stats for dribbling, absolutely phenomenal for this card too uh, because of the heights that he has to work with while being a person who has, let's check out his body type. We're going to be checking out this Lazaro card as well. Uh, Tapazobo's body type is going to be a high and average plus, which is very, very nice to work with. So high and average plus, six foot four, couple of good stuff there. His base card stats for defending is really good too. So with the shadow chemistry style, we're going to be essentially making it perfect. And then not only that, but for his physicality, the card is working with very, very good physical stats with 92 for strength, 96 for aggression to work with the pace that he has, body type and height. And then he also has the 88 jumping. So this card looks really, really cool. He's a Bayern Leverkusen player. And uh, there's a lot of links you can work with if you're going to do Leverkusen. Like you can honestly, if you have the Bender Brothers, you can do that. You can do this new link with uh, this gameplay objective card, Amiri. And I really like this Amiri card. He's one of my favorite cards to use this year, to be honest, because of the five-star skills and silk dribbling. So... You know, there's a couple of really cool stuff you can work with. Like if you're using like a uh, four three two one, you need that triple link setup. Tab Soba, Lars Bender, um, Amiri would definitely be something that you can definitely work with. That would be really really cool, right? So uh, with Tab Zoba, we are going to be trying him out defensively. Obviously, it's going to be a center back. Uh, we're going to be trying him out in a three at the back formation. Let's start. We're going to be testing out as well. So we're just going to go ahead and move him here. Saint Juice will just tell him to literally play as a striker if he really wants to. These guys get forward, get forward, so we can test them out more defensively. And this is for the crazy press after possession loss stuff. With a little bit higher, yeah, we'll do with a little bit higher. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go try out the card. Hopefully he is a beast. Okay, so we are going to be playing against a little bit of a hybrid team here. It's nice. I like what he's working with, to be fair. Got enough attackers to test him out. I wouldn't say they're full meta cards, but... Oh, just from the pressure from behind, he actually got that ball there. Let's go. Okay, this game is super chalked. Super, super chalked. But listen, taps open two different occasions right there. Saves my life. He's absolutely massive in game, eh? It's huge. Huge card. Transition speed isn't bad either. Possession-based tackle, which is great. Nice. Good job, Royce. We'll take that. Just nice and calm, man. Nice and calm sometimes. His transition speed is actually pretty solid. I like it. It's not bad at all. It works well with his dribbling stats, for sure. See, I overcommit him in that position, and he just occupies St. Juice's position, which is dope. Nice, good interception there. The height is definitely going to be very helpful for that, of course, because he's very fast at accelerating into the play to get the ball off of people. Which is awesome to work with because of how tall he is, right? So. Lovely tackle again.
Yep. He tries to do a bounce pass because a bounce pass is actually kind of like go around your players too. Um, he's pretty cool so far, guys. I am liking the card. I can see why people like the future stars at the time. Nice tackle. From behind as well, man. It's very important. You can see that's why I wanted to overcommit St. Juice there to kind of like give him that space. To see if he'd make those types of uh, challenges. Which he did right there. That was dope. Perfect opportunity here. Good challenge there. So, one thing you do have to be careful of when it comes to using Tap Soba in your team for the meta of this game, like the full tier meta, is the chase after animation. So, he is a strong type of player when it comes to chasing after opposition. So, you know, how a center back should feel. But in the meta of this game, you definitely want players uh, to be more agile if you're looking at it from that point of view, right? Um, because we are up against Sar here, who is a physical type of runner as well. But obviously... With Tapazova's physical presence, he still can get those balls nicely. You always got to focus on the runs, man, because they're a huge, huge men in this game, so. And that was his mat That was his uh, defensive AI right there. I didn't do anything there. That was this crazy slide tackle. Oh, look at that challenge, man. The only thing I'm not going to like about the, oh, I'm not, I'm not going to say I'm not going to like about it, but for the full meta aspect of the game, yes, the chase after it needs to feel more agile if, if you really want to look at it that way. But guys, this card is really, really sick. Like I said, man, I can see why people like this Future Star so much. <laughs> we do terribly over there. I just want to test out his uh, dribbling under pressure. Nice little shot cancel in the uh, defensive third. So yeah, you do have to be careful with uh, his height and physical presence a little bit when it comes to dribbling on the ball, as well as the chase after animation for sure. Oh yeah, the passing being high is definitely going to be super helpful for sure. Let's see if we score off that now. Oh, manual goalkeeping? Okay, we'll take it. <laughs> so that initial challenge that I did, I just wanted to overcommit so that I could see if he goes back into the play quickly. And he did, man. This is this is a really cool card, guys. 100, 100%. Um, I still think that even for the full meta aspect of the game, he's definitely going to be fantastic. I think he's going to be a great center back for sure. Um, the chase after for the super agile feeling, like sometimes you want a little bit more for the full meta aspect of the game. But... I mean, that's pretty much as far as it goes. It's either that, it's that and the dribbling on the ball because of the body type and stuff, but it's very, very small things in regards to him being a beast because he's really good. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the team of the season Tap Soba card. Uh, I could see why you guys like the Future Star so much. I know I said that a lot during this review, uh, but it actually makes sense for a lot of variables with this card. And I do think that the improvements that this card has received, especially in the dribbling department, will definitely be a very noticeable thing for him. So there's a lot of variables as to why this card is so good, right? Medium high work rates are a fantastic to work rate to have uh, in the center back position. The thing about this card, right, is that his pace works really well with his six foot four height and his high and average plus body type. What that's gonna do for you, man, is that it's gonna create a lot of situations where defensive AI wise, he's gonna do the craziest slide tackle blocks. He's gonna go for the craziest standing tackle blocks. And he's just going to be an absolute unit to get past, man. He's just going to be tall, huge, big player that's going to be very hard. Like, if he's going body to body against someone, he's most likely going to beat them. Unless they're super, super aggressive, agile type runners that just really blitz past them, right? Like, But if you're going body to body against Tapsoba, it's definitely going to be very hard to beat him. Because that body type, that height with 92 strength and 96 aggression by a base card stat is going to be amazing, right? So... This Tap Soba card is definitely a very good card to use in the meta of the gameplay. If you really want me to be nitpicky, um, 
I, the chase after you'll notice because of the six foot four height and the high and average plus body type, which you saw, you guys can see the animation when he's chasing after. It's not like an agile type, right? And then obviously when he's on the ball, yes, the dribbling stats are very good, but you do have to work with his six foot four height and high and average plus body type. This is me really stretching, by the way, is like really, really stretching because I do think that this Tapsova card is a very, very solid center back to use in this game. And there's so many cool things you can do with him because of the Leverkusen links, like I was mentioning earlier, right? 22 years old, getting a team of the season and a future stars. Very, very nice for him. So uh, yeah, if you guys want to complete the SBC for your teams, he'll be very solid in my opinion. So yeah, I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.